be using this ICBM submarine against a crushing depth mod. Let's get started. This thing is absolutely massive, but let's actually enter this thing from the top here. We normally don't do this. We just teleport in, but I kind of want to like see what it's like. So right here we have a button. Why is there so many seats in here? All right. Well, we're in the control room right now. Should we do red lights or white lights? Um, actually, I really like these white lights. Okay. So we're going to be doing these blue lights here. So how do we actually start this thing? I think there's a nuclear reactor in this thing somewhere. Oh my gosh. Do we have to start a nuclear reactor? Oh, uh, we have a medical room. That is great, but I want to find where the reactor's at. I don't think this is the reactor room. Actually, I can hear the reactor humming, which means it's trying to start up. So we're just going to go back up here, close all the doors behind us because, you know, stuff might go wrong today. Maybe, just possibly. It never goes as a plan. So that's why I'm kind of saying that. Power generated is looking very good. So we go up here and turn on station on and up and down is our throttle, I think. So as you can see, our propeller is now spinning. It's pretty fast, but it's also pretty slow. So now let's start diving this thing. Um, Oh, wait, we can't dive. Our propeller's like sticking out of the water. Hold on. Not letting us dive, which means we have to fill our ballast. So right here's our ballast control. That's our radar control. Ballast control right here so we can fill the ballast. We're going to fill all ballast right here. And these are the dials saying how much water is in each compartment, which is very nice for a situation like this. So we're filling all ballast. So this thing should start sitting lower in the water here every second. And I can kind of just see that, yep, the propeller is definitely lowering. Great. And now I can use my pitch. Now if I angle this thing down, it should really start angling down. But um, I think we need to fill up with a little bit more water maybe. We are trying as hard as we can right now to dive this thing. I think it's kind of working. See, we're going underwater. Perfect. All right. So any minute now, we will be completely submerged underwater with all the fish and all this fun stuff. All right. All the main things are underwater. It's just our back fin, and that's about to go underwater, and we are completely submerged in the water. Okay, this is interesting. This is where the bad stuff starts to happen. Well, the crushing depth mod is on, so we have to be kind of um, watching our depth here. So where's our depth even at? Depth. Um, okay, so if we click enter here, we can go a max of 173 meters deep, and we're at 80. So I think we'll be fine at this level, but you know, we just got to be careful here. Oh, don't smack the bottom. I'm pulling up right. Oh no, guys, this is bad. Okay. 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 You can stop filling the ballast. I think we filled it a little bit too much. We're going to be emptying it now. So it's trying to empty the ballast. Um, it's not going down. Oh gosh, guys. Why is this thing not working? We're stuck at the bottom. Oh no. Well, that's a great start. So our ballasts are all failing currently. None of them are pumping out water. So we're just basically a rock stuck at the bottom. Let's try throttling up here. Hopefully we don't break ourselves on the bottom but if we do that's just what's gonna have to happen i'm also pulling up with these control fins if it's really hard to see but you can tell i'm definitely pulling up and we're still stuck to the bottom even with these right there you can see it oh no um guys our depth is getting really close to an issue i could say so just 40 more depth meters and we will start being crushed we're at the complete ocean floor we're just basically driving and dragging ourselves on it which probably isn't good but you know you just got to do what you got to do but maybe we should try taking a tour before we absolutely like get this thing crushed oh it's definitely rising okay so over here in the control room we got a map radar which um doesn't really work um over here is our sonar so working sonar which is pretty awesome a whole bunch of tor wait this thing has torpedoes in it okay we got to test those out wait a second that might be why we're at the bottom of the ocean we just might be overloaded with all of our weight um monitor wait we're getting alerts we're reaching our crushing depth oh no guys we're getting alerts oh uh, i'm gonna get back up here in the helm and probably brace for impact why is this happening so fast oh no so just three more meters two more meters now and we're gonna be at our crushing depth here we go oh this is where issues start to happen at guys oh no we're getting alert we're in the crushing depth right now so we will start seeing damage up here at random locations and we're gonna start getting crushed okay, i do hear stuff breaking but i don't see it because i think there's like a gap right here and in between the actual top of the boat but um is there any damage i can see i don't see anything never mind i definitely do our icbm hatch is broken oh no imagine if one of those breaks that's like our cargo oh guys that would be tragic okay we need to go back up here um kind of tour this thing before we do sink so we have all of our white lights on these are the icbm tubes right here which is pretty awesome oh gosh what is this room what is this room right here it's completely destroyed oh no okay we need to grab a welder that's great that there's a supply room right here with all the welder and repair equipment we're gonna repair this and then we have our monitor here of the outside okay that's interesting lights what did i just activate oh it's a broken light okay i was like why is there a police light going off in here but yeah we are definitely starting to have issues is there like a ballast or i meant build pump control area like how do we actually drain our bilge pumps at does this thing have automatic bilge pumps because i hope it does because we're definitely much below our crushing depth right now so we're we're having issues i can say that but let's go up here see what's going on so over here is like our crew bay um what is this oh wait there's a lower compartment hold on we're gonna go in the super low compartment and what kind of bathroom is this why is there toilets in the open like this oh no okay okay that's quite interesting but now the bathroom's starting to get damaged okay what's behind the bathroom a ton of batteries Oh, those might catch fire, guys. Okay, 
place. So that's going to be an issue here in a bit, probably. Uh, this is like a bilge pump room. All these bilge pumps are not working at all. But what's all the way back here? I think this is our reactor room. Let's go ahead and double check. Okay, so what is this? Oh, this is a reactor room right here, guys. Look at this reactor. And if anything were to happen to this thing, that would be catastrophic. This thing would go in a complete blaze and radiation would leak everywhere. So we need to be careful with that thing. But I'm kind of debating if I should launch like my missiles, open missile hatches. Should we do that? Because if we do, a ton of water will flood in and it just definitely um, sink. But I feel like an ICBM weighs more than water. So you know what? Why don't we just do that? Okay, open outer missile hatches. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to cause some issues here. Hopefully it doesn't overweight this thing too much. Okay, water's flooding in. Once those are fully filled, we're going to um, start launching some of them. We just had one not open. Oh gosh, will that like explode or something if it doesn't launch? Uh, maybe we should wait on those. Um, uh oh, stuff is happening. Okay, well this is kind of concerning if I'm not going to lie, but ICBMs are ready to launch. Um, let's see torpedoes. We do have torpedoes on this thing. So let's do open front and rear hatches. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we're going to be firing off some torpedoes because I know those will work. So torpedoes one and three. There we go. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, that does not look good. Don't hit us. Oh my gosh. That is a scary looking torpedo and it almost just exploded on us. Okay, we need to be careful. Uh, we're just going to launch some other torpedoes though. So whatever those torpedoes are, where are those? At? Oh, okay. Thank you for leaving. I think they're locking onto like a ship up above. So whoever that is up there is going to have some pretty surprise coming up behind them. Our entire control station right here is broken. Okay, we need to start repairing. And then what is that power generator? Wait, that used to be at like a thousand. What's going on? I think our reactor is actually starting to crumble up here. But I don't know about you. I don't think I'm going to check because that sounds like a terrible idea. Wait, we do have a hazmat suit. Okay, we have the hazmat suits on. Let's go check where the reactor room is at. Wasn't it like a floor below or something? Okay, we're just going to try repairing as much stuff as we can. And then down here. Oh, this is like an access hatch to the reactor room. Okay. So in the reactor room, oh, uh oh, guys, the reactor's destroying itself. Okay, radiation level. Um, I don't, I hope that's not a radiation level. Uh, reactor's looking fine though. I don't see any like breaches on the reactor itself. Besides the front right there, that's definitely gonna cause some issues. But I mean, other than that, we're doing kind of fine. Like our bilge pumps are a little bit broken here and there, but that's seen. You know, I was expecting that. Everything's, you know, you gotta expect everything down here. But from the outside, this thing's definitely not doing too well. So our control fins are broken on the front there. Ton of torpedo tubes. And I just looked and our one of the torpedoes touched down right next to us and that might explode because it's like ramming itself into the ground and the shock waves definitely going to do some damage one of the torpedoes is still like flying around okay that's a little bit concerning hopefully that doesn't lock on to us but that's always a possibility here we do have a sonar probably tracking a whole bunch of torpedoes currently which is i think that's actually what's happening but okay we're gonna fire a torpedo or not a torpedo a icbm so this is an icbm submarine we're just gonna completely nuke the multiplayer island so if there is anyone on there they might have issues and then target altitude we'll just do 15 because it's a little bit um off the ground we're gonna do launch missiles wait is this all the missiles at once or is this just one of them okay i hope it's just one missile because this might be really bad all right three two one launch missiles please just do one missile oh wait it's not wait did one launch i think oh there we go okay they're launching that's great and oh i think this is supposed to be above ground firing okay just disable that yeah i don't know what's going on i think those are supposed to be above ground let's see what they're actually going um they're just gonna oh okay well that'll work i guess um failed icbm launch that's great well i mean now that we know that that works we're just gonna keep that on and it'll just continuously launch missiles did i hear something explode uh oh um oh it just opened the hatch okay that's interesting so the closed hatch one did actually go out of the hatch somehow but that's really cool how they launch it like goes sideways and then launches that's awesome hopefully nothing fails okay so let's go on the icbm tubes right here so this is where all the fun stuff is happening as you can see there's no icbm in a lot of these wait a second they are actually in the air hold on let's see what's going on up here so there's icbms over there and oh wait they're actually hitting the multiplayer look oh my gosh we are completely nuking that island right now okay some of them did actually resurface somehow and they're definitely hitting it okay that's cool but now let's go back in our completely getting crushed submarine and our sonar or wait no is that radar no this is sonar so our sonar station's also having issues um okay that's bad how do we do this so we're gonna fire all the rest of our torpedoes off okay there we go torpedoes have have been fired i like how they go straight up and not like straight in front of us i mean since we do have our hazmat suit on why don't we check on the reactor okay so how do we get back down there again i think it's no it's definitely in the back of the submarine i should say and what is this room right here um dial what does this dial even mean i think i just entered a really weird maintenance room okay so if we go in here and right here oh wait don't do that that's an airlock oh my gosh okay so that's how you escape this thing if it's necessary so is that like an escape pod hold on that might be cool so uh we'll just say that we have an escape pod on this thing I, even though i don't 
think we do. Uh, this is a reactor room right here. It's all, it's looking pretty clear in here. I thought that was water for a second, but thank gosh it's not. It's looking good though. That's good. And I think we can confirm all missiles have been launched if you go on the outside here. So they all look clear and hopefully I don't go above one and it launches immediately. What are those? Hold on. That's a sonar noise maker. That's a thing. Wait a second. Hold on. I think I saw where that was at in here. So there's like a ton of buttons right here. Decoy one. So if we launch a decoy, let's do decoy one and it launches a sonar noise maker. That is insane looking. What in the world? Hopefully that doesn't explode. And two of them are staying on. So we've had two failed launches so far. Um, our torpedo doors are also really broken. Okay. We're going to close the outside hatches and disable all of this stuff right here. So all doors have been closed. Why is this thing shaking so much guys? Look in the inside. We're like really rotating. The missiles are pushing this thing. And I think these are infinite fuel missiles. So they're going to be going forever. Oh gosh. Okay. We're going to try throttling up here. See if we can kind of like, Oh, our doors like crumbling over there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Our speed is nine. Okay. That's really slow. Yeah. I don't think we're pulling up anytime soon. Um, our entire like fins up here are, as you can see, are broken. They're going up and down for no reason whatsoever. We're having issues down here. Um, let's see power generated. Okay. That's going back up. Oh my gosh. Something just exploded in the back right there. I don't know what that was. Uh, it just launched a sonar noisemaker though. I can say that. Hold on. Let's go back there. See what's going on. Cause something just exploded. Okay. So now we enter this room right here and wait, is that water? Oh, that's water. Close the door. Oh, there's water in the reactor room and I see a fire in there. Okay. That's um, noted. Great. Okay. We're not going in there again. So we have just had our reactor completely explode on us in this crushing depth mod. That is definitely not good. Let's see. Uh, wait, something's breaking. Um, is that water too? Oh, there is. Oh my gosh, guys, there's water in every compartment back there. What we need to do now is completely shut down our throttle because I think we're still for some reason driving. Okay, shut that down to zero. And I think our entire front part is a little bit broken. The back part just completely erupted. I don't know why. Wait a second. That means there's radiation spreading everywhere. Oh no. Okay, so what's going on up here? Is there water? Yep, there is water in the crew bay area. So if you're in here sleeping, I need you to wake up and start drinking the water to, you know, get it to go away. Forgot to check something very important, guys. The bathroom. How's the bathroom doing? This is very important. Um, okay, so it looks like someone forgot to turn off a shower or two. That's fine. Or maybe the toilet overflowed. Okay, that might have, Debbie possibly could have done that. Um, there's some water in this room right here. We're just gonna let that out. Same within this room. Oh my gosh. Okay, just water everywhere. What we're gonna try doing is open this door right here and try swim through. Okay, we're gonna open it and close it immediately. What is going on in this room? Oh, the reactor is completely seized. Since we do have our hazmat suit on though, we're not taking any damage, which is really good. Okay, we have our steam boiler right there. Oh, that's completely, yeah, everything's broken. Okay, close the door. Oh, we're flooding so much water in. Yeah, so our entire bottom compartment is filled with like three inches of water on the floor. So you might want to wear some boots down here. How do I get back up to the top floor here? So we just go up here. All right, um, not over here. And it's quite unfortunate how we can't resurface because our ballast is at like 510,000 liters of water. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think that's this like outer ballast right here that I can swim in, but I can kind of um, understand why it's not pumping out that amount of water. That's just, you know, I don't think I, anything could do that if it wanted to, but I'm trying to enter the medical room right now. It is flooding. Um, that's fine. We're just going to try evening the water out throughout the ship because that is just how it works. Um, we're swimming in here. There's not even air. Oh wait, we're getting radiation. Um, oh no guys, we need to get out of here. Close that door. There's radiation in that room. Oh, I just let so much water and I'm swimming in rooms. I definitely should not be. And there's water completely in that room right there. It's slowly like spreading through this door, as you can tell. And there's water. Yep. Yeah, definitely filling up here. Guys, that was a bad idea. And in the front of the boat, I forgot to check out what this room is right here. Um, wait, this actually looks like a cool room. So if we go in here, launch anti-air missiles. Wait, hold on. How do I do this? Open anti-air missile hatch. Where's this at? Oh, it's on the front. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. We're going to launch some anti-air missiles at the bottom of the ocean. All right, so clear to fire. We're going to launch two of those and it did not launch them. Maybe these other ones right here. Oh, that one worked. Okay, there we go. And they're actually going straight to the surface somewhere. Wait, I think those are actually working. It's probably detecting a space shuttle or something. But you know, that's just like some normal stuff in a submarine. Um, So is there a fire still in the reactor? I think that actually put itself out, thankfully. It only was on fire the second the explosion happened. What is this? Um, I don't know, guys. This, this submarine is quite interesting. But we can't even access the medical room because for some... Wait, I just saw something spark. Did you guys see that? Something sparking down there. Hold on, let's go down here. I don't see anything. Okay, maybe it was just my eyes. But yeah, medical room is completely flooded with water. Let's see what's going on behind it. Uh, this is a storage room with those hatches that we were worried about. So those somehow still haven't opened. But I can confirm something is sparking up there. And then there's something really glowing up here in the front. What's going on up here? So, oh no. What, how is the battery on fire underwater? Okay, 
you know what? Um, this is really bad. I mean, at least we have a fire suppression system kind of going at it down there, but it's definitely spreading up here. Water is going up here. I see the fire actually going through the floor on some parts. I see like the smoke going through our ventilation system. Oh, this is bad, guys. I think we're going to die from smoke inhalation. Guys, look at the water. It's rising so fast. I mean, it was. I, look, no, look at it over here. It's rising. Um, That means we're going to die. Okay, so what do we do? Do we have like a um scuba suit maybe? Come on, what submarine doesn't have a scuba suit? Okay, so we have an equipment room right here. It has a firefighting suit and then this hazmat suit I have on, which um actually isn't necessary, but we'll just keep it on. Um, there is water completely flooding in our room right here. That's great. And fire spreading slowly through the floor. We need to get out of this thing. Um, what about that? Uh, what about the escape pod room over here? Even though I don't definitely don't think it's an escape pod room. So in here we have this room and okay, it's an airlock with no scuba suit. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's oh wait, wait, hold on. I found something. It's a scuba suit right there. Okay, we're gonna put that on and get ready to get the heck out of this thing. But while we're waiting, I'm just gonna set it on the floor right here. So you know we can see a little bit better. Hopefully, it doesn't burn to crisp, but look at the water, guys. It's definitely starting to rise. Look at right here. Oh my wait, it's starting to go above the door. Um, I don't even know if I have enough power to close that. Okay, I think we need to get out of here, guys. This is definitely the time and place to do it. Okay, we're gonna go in here. Close that door right there just before water gets in. Wait, I'm too fat. It's not closing. Hold on. We go in here and then close the door. Oh no, there's water coming in. Oh, we're gonna die. Okay, we completely airlocked ourselves in this room right here. And now we're gonna open this outer hatch and try swimming to the surface, even though I think we're really deep. Okay, so hopefully we don't get crushed while doing this, but here we go. Hold your breath. Actually, I don't think we wait. Um, this is not an escape hatch, guys. We just entered our ballast system. Oh no. Okay, we got you. We got you You're right out. Guys, this is not gonna plan at all. I thought that was an escape hatch. What kind of entrance is this? Okay, we need to open this back up and close the outer door so we don't flood immediately. Honestly, I don't even care. Just close that. And oh wait, this thing's almost completely filled it here. Okay, um, there's a hatch right here. We need to get out of the top hatch. Open that and then get out of this top hatch right here. Okay, it is open already for us, I think. Okay, so we have a light in here. How do I get out, guys? This is like a maze. So if we go directly up, oh, there's a hatch right here. Perfect. We're gonna open that and it's not opening because this hatch is open. Oh no. And there we go. We have just escaped. And wait, guys, look at our screen. Look at all that fuzziness. That means radiation. Oh, we're gonna die. We need to get back up there immediately. It's so dark. I can't see a thing. Look at the submarine completely down there. And we've resurfaced. Oh my gosh, I was swimming for like five minutes. Okay, let's take this suit off of us, guys. That was insane. Look how far it is down there. You can see all the buttons and stuff still beeping. Oh no. I don't know how we even escaped that thing, but that's probably gonna be it for this video. That was a pretty crazy submarine escape and we somehow survived. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.